John A. Tsunami, directed by Stephen Boyum. So the movie starts out in Hawaii, and a boy named Johnny is talking about a legend named Johnny Tsunami, who be all like amazing, and a good surfer who saves people. And Johnny brings out a medallion to his friends. It's like, see, my family got clout, you sucker lame ass banana peels on the side of the street. And Johnny is a surfer and wins a competition, but his father ain't nowhere to be seen. So he comes home and he's like, hey yo daddy yo, where you been at? Johnny's father is like, I make us money to survive, and I also fulfill my Asian stereotype. So joke's on you, you nipple sucker. My father wasn't there for me, and neither will I be for you. Now live up to your Asian stereotype and start playing StarCraft. But then, there's some news that the family has to move to Vermont for a new job. And Johnny is like, oh, snap. And Johnny packs up and leaves for Vermont saying bye to a supportive granddad, Johnny Tsunami. And so Johnny arrives in the new geographic and ethnic territory. And at the private school, some bully looking student named Brett starts picking on Johnny and says if he's in America, he should be speaking English. And while we're talking ethnicity, the bully Brett invites Johnny to the ski slopes for some sloping. And then Brett viciously throws Johnny down the mountain. The next day, Johnny meets a kid from public school named Sam, and he teaches him the ways of snowboarding, and also the differences between the urchins who are the snowboarders and the skies, who are the twisted pinky toes from private school who are the skiers. And later at school, Johnny challenges a girl named Emily to some snowboarding, cause she's been eating diamond fried chicken all her life, and she shows up to the urchin side of the mountain. But because she gotta be reaching for some braggalicious toasty toast, she falls off the side of the mountain and ends up having to be saved by the snow patrol. And her dad, who's the headmaster of the private school, forbids her from hanging out with Johnny. Not because he's brownish, just because he's, you know, dangerous and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think that, that might be the reason, okay. Uh, <laughs> and while Johnny's been riding through the Sky Territory, there's a territory dispute between Johnny and Brett representing their east side of the mountain. And then Brett starts to fight Johnny, and Johnny then gets blamed for the fight later, and is told to ski and not snowboard. And then Sam tells Johnny that he's moving away to Iceland because his daddy's in the army. So. Fed up with everything, Johnny is like, Sam, let's bop fibble trip to Hawaii. And they do. Much to Johnny Tsunami's surprise, who lets them stay until they are ready to leave. And Johnny Tsunami teaches the young Johnny to never give up, no matter how hard a situation gets. And with that, now the three of them go back to Vermont. And the next day, Johnny Tsunami shows some skills and gets challenged by Brett for the whole mountain in which that challenge is accepted. So Johnny races Brett down the mountain, and even though that Brett sucker be cheating, Johnny wins! And everyone cheers as Johnny father is like, hey, we gonna make you my shit go at my house. And all the kids are like, hooray! If you know what that means. <laughs> and so Johnny opens up the mountain for everyone, proving that by never giving up, and by accepting each other's differences, anybody can even bring a whole mountain together. The end.